If I yeah. don't cry at least once an episode, something's very wrong. So <laughs> bend your ear for this powerful moment from the Avatar Brave the Elements podcast. Featuring our guests, author F.C. Yi and Nancy Wu. One of the wonderful things as, a, as like an old head fan is watching folks come in in waves and the Netflix waves and become fans mm, of a property. That totally. Really proud to say like storytelling wise, themes wise, oh. look how much, look, not only is it holding up, so it's classic. Still, still smashing it. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great joy to see more and more folks uh, discover the, the verse. So what has the reception been like for each of you uh, now that all four books are out in the world? Christian? Oh, uh, it's just been so many things. It's been so fun uh, getting to uh, go to cons to represent the books, and, but also really, emotion, really emotional uh, because it's, um, it's been a, such a tremendous uh, uh, journey that to get the chance to, to talk to folks at each different stage and have that reflect what's going on in the kind of like the arc of my engagement with uh, Avatar. Anytime I stop to th- think about it, I get, re- <laughs> I get all choked up. Inside. You're on the right place um, for that. Or, don't you worry. If yeah. I don't cry at least once an episode, something's very wrong. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the, to see the, that folks are, are, are you know just happy with things that the books have brought is uh, just really uh, to the is just really touching. The reception uh, so when I, I go out and meet folks, it's it's just being able to connect with people who have been able to connect with something that I've written, and there's nothing more special than that. So well deserved. Such good writing. Some of the best kind of books that I've ever narrated. They're definitely my favorite, this oh. Christians, the work on this. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That's, That's true. You've, you've read a lot of books, so I know, yeah. I know, I know what that means. It's, um, oh, he sets things up yeah. so perfectly. You know, things surprise you. Even I've read the book. And, you know, you've done a, a, an audiobook or two, I think you were saying before. Like, mm-hmm. you read the book. And then you perform it. And when you're performing it, it hits you so hard. Like yeah. every single moment you are in and you are immersed in the world, you're kind of in this box again. You're creating it. And the moments just hit with Christian's work. You know, all those. And you know, because you've listened to the books, those pivotal parts where it's heart-wrenching. I mean, yeah. same with the, the television series. It's just heart-wrenching and so poignant. I am so privilege to be able to do these really. And people have loved them. I mean, I'm, I think that the reception of the audiobooks is pretty good too. Oh God. Um, I mean, I, if oh, you don't hear that directly, please know that we absolutely hear that at cons because Dante and I both love talking to fans about all aspects of the Avatar verse. And again, because we have listened to the books, um, we're right there to talk about it. And again, it goes back to the kind of intimacy of that, like it feels mm-hmm. like everything you just described, we're experiencing that and we feel like we have this best friend that we don't even know, but somehow True. they're now our best friend taking us, carrying it's- us gently through this world and helping us process the emotion that the words are making us feel because you're feeling them right alongside. So I think, you know, I don't know how like in public you've been about stuff like that, but please know that people are going to like cry and want to hug you as... It's As they strange. show tons of fans. Yeah. There's like a, there's like a craft element, which, uh, you know, it, that kind of like spoils the, the, the vibe, but like you're talking about the moments of intimacy. Like, but there's also yeah. like the writer's trick of, of like looking at your work and you're doing a revision and you, and the, the rule is make it hurt worse, worse, <laughs> worse. Make it hurt real bad. Yeah. I <laughs> so, mean, there so like, is like, some heavier wrenching. things in these books and I'm thinking Shocking. Kiyoshi's story that is <laughs> way heavier, way darker mm-hmm. than what I was prepared Expecting. for when I was real. <laughs> totally. like, well, what's going on? Let me re- I had to mm-hmm. rewind. I'm like, hold on yeah. a second. What, are they <laughs> what did, saying what, what I think happened? they're saying? What's did that happening? Foreshadow happened? report. Foreshadow report. Yeah. For those of mm-hmm. you who haven't read. It's no, heavy. For sure. Heavy. For sure. I feel so bad for Kiyoshi. Like this is, <laughs> I mean, we fell in love with her in the costume. You see the statue yeah. and this, you know, and yeah. the thing and the Kiyoshi Wars and we love Suki. And there's like this beautiful thing with it. And then you you read the backstory mm-hmm. of what Kiyoshi went through. Yes. And you're like, oh, oh. my God, this yeah. is horrible. Yeah, like why? Thing. She's like the most unhappy, just not, she didn't have the great time as the Avatar, as <laughs> other Avatars kind of had. She just had her own dark thing going on. And it's... Oh. But she had she's had she had such important people in her life and yes, oh, team Avatar such love for her. and 
Yeah, I a mean, love. the Christian, that's Can, can we talk about team. that real quick? Just the when Wait. I first found out that every avatar starts <laughs> having a team and, team the, and, the, and the, oh. the glory of oh, each so team. Good. And what, I mean, when you see Characters. what's going on with Kyoshi's team and then what you see what's going on with Yang Chen's team mm -hmm. and you see that that throughout time there's a history of other Sokka's, other Katara's, you other tops that – and you're like, oh my God, like it's one thing to be a great avatar, then it's another thing to be like one of the the members that, you know, it, it just, the history of it kind of just clicked in my mind in a way that I was like, oh, this is phenomenal. Yeah. Like, there's always been, they always need help. You yeah. Know? That, was a, that, that was actually one of the themes that uh, Mike said, like that's, that's like uh, uh, in, in, such integral to the franchise. He, Mike's, I remember Mike spe specifically said, our journeys aren't taken alone. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, ha you have, team you have a team of mm. friends right uh he, uh he gave me the space to explore what that team of friends could potentially <laughs> right be. cool it's a little, they're it's so a little, good you did they're, so they great. end up pretty wacky i know in the, in the novels including a team of like friends that don't even like each other that much <laughs> right like that much but um <laughs> but that was one of the critical things that he said like you can't really call it an avatar story if you mm -hmm. don't acknowledge the importance that no one is alone in this right. world and like you're not this isn't a story about somebody rejecting um, uh, connections and and totally. you know rejecting vulnerability and the relationships with other human other human beings, which so, totally uh, makes you think of your own life, and especially yeah. as an actor in Los Angeles, where we're like all as I feel like all these artists in Los Angeles are going on their own hero's journey, mm. and you know it makes you think of like who has been your click and whose clicks you've been in to help them other friends out <laughs> in their journey, and it's you know you, I kind of just all clicks in like oh yeah I've had some friends I've been rolling with for like. 20 years and we've been through some things. You know? yeah. I don't know if I was the avatar, if they were the avatar or what. I don't know what happened. I found something that you're not going to like. Well, it sounds like a sheet of paper, but I guess you're referring to what's on the sheet of paper. You know, there were prequels. I feel like, you know, probably we've all maybe seen one or two or read one or two or thought about um, stuff where you can feel the reverse engineeredness of the story that comes before the story that we all already know. And that's a really hard thing to get right. And I have nothing but respect for anybody who's tasked with that. For me, my experience with your books is like it could never have been any other way. Like there's no part. Mm -hmm. I accept it whole cloth. There's no part of me that's like, oh, so Christian made the decision to da da da. Like it feels like you yeah. unearthed the stones in the mountain, you know, and we're like, okay, this already existed. I'm just translating it. I'm the vessel, like it's coming through me. And that's not what it is. You created those. And obviously, you know, you had your, your feedback and your help from Mike, but it, it, to me, it feels like you're just doing what it only could have ever been. And I think to me, that's, I hope that is a, feels like a compliment because it, that's, oh, you know, it just never, it just doesn't feel flattered. like, I'm like, of course that's Kiyoshi's story. Of, it, it was always Kiyoshi's story. It's like, actually, it, you know, this this didn't exist so before good. so great job oh, thank you i mean the, it comes down to the, the how how deep and rich the world building is in in both shows yeah. uh, the the yeah. fact that there's so many there's so many internally consistent and logical elements that play off each other in the uh in in all some all the creative choices that uh that were made and also the being able to to see a transition between generations in, and being lucky to see how the universe evolves from one generation to the other, from Aang to Korra, that helps kind of like get a pattern in mind. So, if, mm -hmm. okay, if like you see numbers uh, and you can decipher the pattern, if you can decipher it going forward, you can also, it's an easier time deciphering it going backward as well. So all of that comes down to how much care and love was put into both, uh, both of the original uh, uh, original works. There's also mm -hmm. en just enough wiggle room between eras to understand like, you know, the passage of time kind of glosses can 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 smooth over a lot of things or create a lot of um, uh, twists that uh, you wouldn't expect. But because of the passage of time, and we're talking about things on, from a historical uh, perspective, it's easier th for things to make sense uh, in, hmm. in in that way. So, like it, it, it was it was done through uh, you know a lot a lot of useful uh, help and a, and, a, and a little bit of like a <laughs> you have an out here. Uh, with the passage of history, especially with Kyoshi, because that's a lot of time passing where I could sure. just kind of say like, eh, yeah, true. you know, something changed in that 200 <laughs> years. So Works for that's me. True. Works for me. Bend your ear for ad-free episodes with Avatar Braving the Elements Premium. Subscribe today on Apple Podcasts.